played it around behind his goal to the blue line, but they failed to get out. Bouncing puck, trying to get in there is Posa. And he stopped as he went to the backhand on the glove side of Stover. Now back to center comes Bodone, robbed of the puck, moving in there though as Westcott drops it. Here's Percelli in front, and a great save by Stover, who went down and robbed Louis Bodone, who was open in front and tipped it right on. Falcons can really shoot the puck. Now here's a chance right in front, whacked that two, three times, and a great job by the Laker goaltend in front for Alex Barber, who had a goal last night. Now here's another chance at the top. That's Taylor Schneider. They put it in front and they score. Well, the two-man advantage pays off for Bowling Green. They take the one-nothing lead. 5:58 will be the now the time of the goal will be 14:02. Nathan Burke is going to get this one. He was parked up in front of the goal for the redirect, and he sticks right around the pad of Easton Hess. Polk check. And Bowling Green goes the other way, taking turns taking the puck from each other here. Now the Falcons pick up a loose puck and they score. It bounced right off the Laker player, Borshoff, right to the Bowling Green player coming off the bench and he rifled it right in the top of the net. And just like that, it's a two nothing hockey game. But to center, now the Lakers will bring it right back. Jack Jeffers gets wide, left side, shoots at it. Stover up high, rebounds there, and they score. It came off the slot. And I think Milburn put it in. And a good play there by Jack Jeffers to put that shot on net. And it hits Stover up high and he couldn't control it. Now the Lakers come up with it, fail to get out. Here's a chance and a shot right on by Barber. And the rebound's tipped wide. And the Lakers need to just shoot the puck out of the zone. But they've managed this game much better here tonight. Well, it could happen again here, though. They've been under pressure in this period. And now they're short a man. And we're down to 30 seconds left, and here comes Bowling Green shooting it off the goal post. That hit the post right up where it meets the crossbar, ripped by Nathan Burke. Vanell gives it off again. Taylor Schneider had it knocked away. Laker player pokes it up the ice, going after it is Louis Badone. He's got a break right in on goal. Backhander, and down goes Stover to get a piece of that. That was a tremendous shorthanded opportunity for Lake Superior. Now Vanell right on the CCHA logo, passes it off on the left side to Burke. Now they slide it up that side, right back to Vanell at the blue line over the right side. Quick shot, they score. Boy, that was set up perfectly by Zach Vanell and fired in from the right side dot by Bowling Green. Taylor Schneider. Schneider gets it, and that's his third goal of the weekend. And the Lakers take it to the wall but can't get it out. Here's Swankler putting it right in front of the goal. They score. What a play by Austin Swankler. He set up a teammate there. I'm not sure who put it in, but that was just a great play by Swankler out of the corner. A back pass right on the tape, and it's buried right there. I think it's Nathan Burke who got no, that goal. No, it's, it's Ryan O'Hara. It is O'Hara. And he goes in, and uh, that was a 4-1 game. One on the power play and one on a great play by Austin Swankler. Now the puck's at the blue line, held in by Bowling Green. Swankler again, cross ice, quick shot, they score. Look at Swankler set these guys up. He is spectacular, this kid. That's his second or third assist in this hockey game. And just rifled in the net on that right side. They've scored from that face-off circle. Now back comes Roy to center. Here's Harry Roy, dipsy doodling in over the blue line. He's still got the puck, goes down behind the goal with it, pulls up, falls down, centered it right in front, and it's shot off the goaltender by Posa. 